Hello! New phone, who dis? Yes, started. Right. Yes, I just started. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the generic live show. Ooh, wrong channel. Good, channel. Good morning. <laughs> uh, thanks for popping in, Ralph. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is Ralph Casa. Woo! <laughs> Uh, you know what? No, it was the perfect channel. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Direct Live Show, the most direct live show on the internet. With impromptu. Uh, impromptu guests. And you're fine to come on the show, Ralph. I'm not, I'm not knocking you to be on the show. Hi, everyone. This is the most direct live show on the internet. My name's Dale Campbell. The direct live show will be starting at about 35-ish minutes. Uh, TM. No, the show starts right now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, I need to switch my, um... My love hoo-ha. Uh, Daryl Campbell here with you. I mean, that's a start to a show. <laughs> this is why people want me to have a private room for phone calls. I see how it works. But hi, uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I don't know quite where to take this show now. <laughs> and the show's done. You can listen to the show live. <laughs> Sunday is 5.30pm Eastern. Ah, uh, so there you go. I uh, hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, I'm getting there. Uh, hope everyone is too. <laughs> Derail, you're fine. It's a funny derail. It was, it was a fun derail. A fun derail. Um, Techie Gamer it says it's been a week. Uh, yeah! Wait, what's it say on the chat on the screen? Table here, flip this. Aww. Uh, it's been a crazy week. I can't believe it's only been one week. It definitely feels like more than that, uh, particularly since pretty much the last part of a day, a better part of a day, uh, I've been trapped inside this tropical storm that's passed through here the most uh, recent time, uh, but definitely getting there, definitely uh, getting there. Uh, it's passed through. Uh, there, I'm fine where I'm at. Uh, there is some other localized flooding, uh, but it's we're pretty safe from flooding, even though uh, the show was kinda in question question mark last night when I'm like. Uh, I might have to literally stay downstairs and make sure my house doesn't uh, doesn't flood. Uh, Ral asks, how many CM did you get? Uh, how many CM? I don't think. C M. How many crisis management did I get? I don't know what C M. What? I'm I'm having a I'm having a blonde moment. I'm identifying as as blonde today. 
Ah, centimeters. Oh. <laughs> it's just weird having Americans talking centimeters. Uh, let's see. I don't know the exact amount. It was pretty... Uh... Uh, it's just currently 24 degrees. Uh, rain... Four. Try to be nice and not use inches. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, more heavy rainfall. Uh, expected again today on Monday. Uh, I can't find it. Uh, what is today? Today is the 20... See, the only thing is... Apparently we had 153.2. Which is about... Ugh, that's a good point. Oh, we can ask our special guest. Hey Siri. What is 153.2 millimeters in inches? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. What? Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Hey Siri. What is 153.2... What? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. What are you doing? Hey Siri. What is 152 millimeters in inches? 152 millimeters is 5.98 inches. There you go. Sure. It's only six inches of rain, so I don't know what my massive goat is. But I think it was less the rainfall and more uh, more that the tides were cycling through at the same time uh, late yesterday afternoon. So I think high tide was around uh, around 5pm I want to say. Ralph's saying that that's a lot. Okay, well, it's a lot then. I mean, it's nothing that we're not used to here, particularly living in a tropical environment. Uh, so, yeah, it's not unheard of. Uh, but what else happened this week? I'm trying to think. This is my problem. When I don't do anything interesting, I'm trying to figure out what happened this week. I uh, have all my lighting on in studio today because it's still relatively dark outside. No, oh, that is not a flattering photo. This is me going in the Discord. Uh, yeah, the photo, the photo, the um, show announcement is me going sexy. Uh, you can get those by going to geek-o.net slash discord and you can get notified uh, twice we go, we go live. <laughs> um, twice, apparently. Is, so it's the hot new jam. Uh, what else is going on? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying, trying to be relatively healthier-ish uh, at the moment. Mainly with... Because I like... I like to... I have my full meals. I had yogurt for breakfast uh, this morning, but I also like to kind of like graze and snack during the day. So I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find better ways than just sitting down uh, and eating uh, blocks of chocolate every time I want a snack. Uh, yes. Portion control is probably one of the easier ways to do it. But I don't like I don't like to be easy. As so what I've started doing is I've started having I don't know how well you can see this or if it'll if it'll focus. But I'll cover that brand because we can't have brand advertising on this stream. Uh Goji berries. I don't know if you guys have heard of goji berries. Uh, they're 
apparently, according to the bag, they're akin to raisins. Uh, but they're they're shriveled, red. They're miniature. Get that all up in the camera. Uh, they're just a, a red berry, which apparently stop uh, cancer. So I suppose that's a good thing. Not that that's anything I have to worry about. Uh, and uh, I can show them on stream. Oh, that's the wrong... Dale switches the show! Uh, they're the goji berries there. There's... There's a picture. There's more of a picture of them. You can put them on yogurt and, and stuff, but I, I just have them straight. And apparently... Uh, they're Chinese. And apparently they're meant to be... Uh... Long-lasting energy, but I don't know they weren't yesterday. I was in inside most of the day yesterday, where I could have again had a whole block of chocolate because I just would have been lazy and I had nothing else to do. Uh, but uh, I had nothing to do but eat because the weather outside was frightening. Uh, and it was cold outside, evidently enough. But, I, I again, I could have done nothing but eat, but I chose to eat, like, this whole container full of, of goji berries. And I felt good afterwards. I mean, it tied me over for most of the afternoon, so... Uh, welcome to... Welcome to Health Chat! With probably one of the most unhealthiest people you know. Yeah, I love, I love, I love the, uh, I love the contrast. I have, I have goji berries for, have goji berries for a snack throughout the day, and then I have a spicy buffalo burger from McDonald's for lunch. I do love, I do love that contrast. I will not be eating these throughout the show. I will put them far away from me, so I'm not eating. Uh, throughout the show. Um, we need to get social eating back on here too. We need to we need to do that again. But the problem with that is the only thing that's out at the moment are new flavored Tim Tams, which I want to kind of see if I can save those for Dragon Con. Uh, if 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 I can, because I. Whilst I try them before Dragon Con, I want to save. I don't want to spoil too much for for Dragon Con. Yes, there are new Tim Tam flavors out, and apparently they're amazing. I haven't had them yet, uh, and they have this this brilliant technology where apparently the color uh, of the bag changes if you put them in the refrigerator or freezer. Uh, but. Is that? Uh, I got nothing else going on. Uh, and we're a fair ways from the show. So, how about a few would you rather's? Would you rather uh, at twitter.com slash wyr underscore bot? On the Twitter. Uh, oh, also, because I have to, I have to uh, play this clip on 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 this show. <laughs> I still have no idea where that clip comes from. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta pause, pause the bed here and 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 play this. I don't know exactly. Again, I don't know where this comes from. <laughs> I. I think that's me. I think that's from this show. I mean, I... I have no other... No other context clues to tell me that it's not. 
I mean, realistically. That's... <laughs> Sounds like a noise that I would make. It's a noise that Dick Buttons makes. <laughs> yes, Dick Buttons. Uh, but if you want to participate in this, these Would You Rathers, feel free to call, uh, call in. You know, happy to have people do these with me. Uh, what's the date on it, Ral asks. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, the date probably says 2018. <laughs> Song info. Let me look this up. 2016. That's all it says. <laughs> and it's in heavy rotation. <laughs> it's because I've played it like every three seconds on the Gikaiyo show this last week. Uh, yeah, 2016. It's so not that long ago. Again, I have a feeling that that's Justin Timberlake's uh, song that he did for Trolls, whatever that song was. What was that song? Oh, can't Stop the Feeling, that's it. Uh, 20, 2016 was that. That's two years ago. <laughs> See, I, again, I go through this fog of I do so many shows a week, I, and I... I don't remember much of the previous one. But. Alas. Let's, let's do some, let's do some would you rathers. I feel like I need, I feel like I need a bit of cooking today. Because I'm a little slow out of the gate. Would you rather... Would you rather meet the god or be able to read minds? Oh god, that's deep. Yeah. Would you rather meet the god or be able to read minds? Again, it depends on what god we're talking about. I mean, if it's the god of all evil... <laughs> And I don't want any part of that, let me tell you. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want no part of no evil Mahuji. Uh, Ral says read minds. Yeah, see, do they make evil gods? Are evil gods a thing? I don't know if evil gods are a thing. Evil gods are a thing. Uh, uh, okay. Gods are a thing. Alright. Evil gods are a thing. Hey, let's play this fun game of random quote time. Uh, Jesus Christ, that cat is giving me some fur balls or something. Okay, well that seems appropriate. Alright. Uh, Reggie33 in the chat asks, Can this god give me the power to read minds after I meet him? I mean, it's possible. But, uh, hey Reggie, by the way. Uh, it's possible, but you don't know until you meet him. You, in, in the second one, you don't have to meet a god to, <laughs> to be granted the power to read minds. Alright. Let's... Uh, let's be able to read minds. 63% says read minds other than meet God. Huh, okay. Uh, would you rather color all, uh, all your hair or Get locked into a room with a meeting. Oh god. Uh, hmm. I wonder. I wonder which one I want. I don't know. Meetings aren't great at the best of times. So. I think I'm going to have to go. I'm, I'm going to not wait for the chat room's response on this one. I think I'm just going to. I think I'm going to dive straight in. And take the bullet on this one. 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna color my hair, which I let's go full screen on me. Uh, I I have a wild hair, pardon the pun, to color my hair. That was a really bad pun. Uh, of but, but yeah, I want to color my hair. Like I don't know what color I should color it. Color it, and. No, I'm not leaving up to the chat room to decide because the chat room will decide hot pink and I don't I don't like pink that much to to uh dye my hair it. I mean having pink headphones and dyeing my hair pink are two uh are two way different things. Uh, Reggie33 says, locked room. Uh, I've been growing my hair for uh, over two years and I don't want to dye it. That's, okay, that's fair. I can see that side as well, where it's just like, uh, you're, you, you've put so much effort into it, you don't want to take that risk of ruining your hair. Uh, let's, let's go with, because that, that, that's the, uh, that's the chat room, that's the Geek Squad's choice. Uh, get locked into a room. Uh, why is that? Let me fix that real quick. Uh, there is a black square on the screen, and I don't know why, and it's kind of annoying me. Alright. With a hundred and... Ooh, show that off the screen. Uh, okay, here we go. We're getting there. Let's let's go. All right, get locked into a room. Twelve percent. Oh, boy. Twelve percent say that they want to get locked into a room with a meeting. Eighty-eight percent say that they want to color their hair. Ah, uh, this next one is a little dark. Would you rather see the world die, or do war? <laughs> I don't think there's- I don't think there's a winner there. Let's be completely honest, there's no winner in that scenario. See the world die- Uh... Yeah, there's really... <laughs> there's really no winner in that situation. Would you rather see the world die, or do war? Um, can I not answer this? Can I skip? Can I use my one show, one skip a show rule here? I don't think, I don't think I have one of those. Do I have one of those? Do I have a veto vote? Do I, do I have a abort mission tag? Hmm. The same, yeah. Uh, hmm. I mean, I have promised on this show that I am going on that murderous rampage someday. See the world and die. Or do war. <laughs> Do the war. Fill off my lawn. Hashtag do the war. That sounds like a dance. A dance of interconnected countries going against each other. Alright. Reggie33 in the chat says, If I do the war, the world will die anyway. That's a very good point. Oh, we have a caller on the air. Hi, uh, caller, you're on the air. Who's this? Where are you from? What? What? Who's your daddy? What does he do? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, is How's this is this Bob from Bobbing Stan? Uh, oh yeah, that was the gig I was doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that's the that's the bit you're doing on this show. Yeah, that, that's the bit I was doing on this show. No, this is not the proposed thing that I was going to surprise you with. But this oh, is just okay. me saying hi. Hi. 
I'm not what? feeling good, so I wanted to come on and pester your show for a couple of minutes. Oh, that sucks that you're not feeling it. Be- because because when I'm not feeling good, the first thing I think of is Dale. Uh, I'm not adding that to the quote list, first of all. Second of all... <laughs> <laughs> second of all, I appreciate it. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect okay. question for you then. If you're not feeling the best, this is the perfect would you rather question for you then. Sure. Would you, would you rather see the world and die, comma, or do war? Uh, see the world and die. <laughs> see the world and die. Well, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Like, do you, like, once you travel the, is that traveling the world? I mean, that's my guess. Hmm. Yeah. I mean... Well, I'm also a pacifist, so me doing war would never happen. <laughs> you really do sound very sick. Thanks, I appreciate it. I mean, that's... <laughs> Truth! <laughs> uh, Alright. You're, you're so nice, Dale. I try. Well, the first thing you... You feel like shit, the first thing you think of is me, so there's that. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, Alright, with 201 votes, 16 hours left, 92% say that they would see the world and die, comma. I'm still going to try and do Gamer Geeks after your show, so just a heads up, that'll be fun. Oh. Me on cold medicine doing Warframe. Ooh, that sounds... Have a guess who's not going to be talking much. It'll be fun. I, I think I'm. I think I'm contractually obligated to see it to play Warframe tonight because I just got done watching Pacific Rim Uprising. Oh, I hear that's good. Find out what I thought about it Thursday at 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern over at Twitch TV slash Geekio Show. I mean, you won't find out what I think of um, Pacific Rim Uprising. I'm gonna try and go see it this week. I mean, I got a lot on this week, but I'm gonna try and get out and see it. I think you'll enjoy it. Like, even without seeing the first one, Rachel loved it. Like, mm. it, it's it's definitely going to be a uh, more positive, upbeat uh, rant review this week. I think the problem with the first... I think the problem with the first Pacific Rim is that, that it didn't really have its footing down, right? No, they didn't. Um, I mean, it was... If you came into it expecting, like, a... Like, I guess people were wanting, like, an Aliens-level plot with it, and they got giant robots punching giant monsters. I went into it wanting to see giant robots fight giant monsters, and I freaking <laughs> loved it. Exactly. I, and then, yeah, the first, trail, the first trailer for the first Pacific Rim didn't really do it much justice, because they were like, here's this intricate story, and then you get to the movie, and it, it, there's, like, none of that. That's, like, two minutes yeah. of the film. Yeah. Yeah. They uh they they pad out the they pad out the universe that they built up quite a bit. They expound on the lore of the last movie. They touch on the ramifications of the last movie. They do a lot of proper sequelization of this. That's good. I I remember being on the positive side of the first movie. Oh, that's good. Then, like yeah, you'll probably absolutely love, love this one. Yeah, I didn't love the first movie, but I was on the positive side of. Um, of good. It wasn't better than Spider-Man Homecoming, so it's slightly below <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> Slightly below the three or whatever you gave. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't give it a three. I swear to God, you did, dude. <laughs> I love the fact that my rating for that movie goes down and down every single time it I, comes I, up. I in think you gave Wieners a higher score than Spider-Man Homecoming. I, I, I don't, don't think so. I, I'm not set up to fact check you either. This is the pain in the ass bit. <laughs> I have none, none of that side of things open. Uh, Alright, yeah, so I'm going to let you go. Rim. All right. continue listening to your show. Alright, have fun. I don't want to look up specific oh, yeah. fare. What's specific <laughs> fare? Alright, you take it All easy. Right. Have fun. That is... That was CJ Boat, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Uh, he is a gem. You should go uh, check him out. Uh, it's already out here, so I don't know what my problem is. Again, I'm I'm not on this week on Thursday uh, for the Geek I show. Uh, I'll be out for the Easter weekend. 
first time I've taken the Easter weekend off in like three years. Uh, so... Uh, there's that. I want to try and go... I still want to try and go see it. The other movie I want to try and go see, but I don't think is out yet here, is Love, Simon. Uh, I do want to go try and see... Uh, Love, Simon in the next couple of weeks. Before it again. An art house movie. Well, quote unquote art house movie. It's only going to be in cinema, excuse me, cinemas for about two and a half minutes. Like the Disaster Artist somehow wanted to come out the week before Star Wars and every movie theater is like, yeah, let's, let's pull this Disaster Artist movie for Star Wars. Uh, because, you know, that's fun. Why can't I see both? I want to see both. Both. Both movies. But, yeah. Again, Love, Simon is also a movie I want to go see. But apparently, I've heard that it is... Frustrating plot-wise. Uh, which... Kind of scares me a little bit. Yeah, someone told me that it was... Frustrating plot-wise. That... It doesn't completely it doesn't go down the typical road but it kind of skirts away from the issue at hand uh, but I, I really I really want to go see it as you know that's the type of movie I want to go watch It's a teenage coming-of-age story uh, for reasons that will come clear within two minutes of watching any stream that I'm a part of because it's what I do. But saying that, uh, you know what? We got another. We got another. Would you rather quickly in us? Let's do another. Would you rather real quick? Would you rather? <laughs> this is a good one. I like this one. Would you rather dark cookies with? <laughs> I can't even read this. Would you rather dark cookies, purple with green tortillas, dirty eggs and nuggets, or donuts with bacon in parentheses, citrus, Cheetos, etc.? <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, man. Would you rather, again, would you rather dark cookies with purple... With, <laughs> sorry, let me rephrase that. Would you rather dark cookies, purple with green tortillas, <laughs> dirty eggs, <laughs> and nuggets, or donuts with bacon in parentheses, citrus Cheetos, etc. Sorry, citrus Cheetos, or one word, etc. <laughs> I'm putting that in the chat. Would you rather dark cookies with purple and green, green tortillas? Dirty eggs. <laughs> What's a dirty egg? What is a dirty egg? Hey Siri. What's a dirty egg? Here's what I found on the web for what's a dirty egg. Have a look. Dirty eggs are uh, eggs fried in bacon dumplings. I just realized what I'm showing. Huh. Oh god, no! I'm not reading that over dictionary definition live on air though. Oh, dirty egg means something else. I'm going with donuts with bacon. Donuts with bacon. 79% don't want that guy's dirty eggs. Well, quite honestly, quite frankly, I definitely don't. I definitely don't blame them. Because dirty eggs, ladies and gentlemen, is a euphemism for... <laughs> that took way too long to set up. That shouldn't take that long to set up that clip. <laughs> Reggie33 says, 
I too know words to <laughs> write them in a sentence. I mean, this is a a neuro a neo network, a neo network, neon network. It's a neon network. This is the internet. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of it is. It gets a little it gets a little stringy sometimes. Where it's just like, would you rather cheese donuts with this thing and that thing and all the things or poop? I like those ones where the first one's very long, and the second one's just poop. And I always select poop because I'm 12. Speaking of being 12, who wants to do a shoe? Do you want to do a shoe? We can do a shoe. Let's do a shoe. Alright. Let's do the time warp again. Uh, boop. Uh, and boop. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to count this thing down and do a little intro. A shoe. Let's do a shoe. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, it begins in three, two, this is the generic live show for Sunday, the 25th of March, 2018, and it's coming right at you right now! <laughs> 